All right, chat. I am back and it's really hot in my room, but we are good to go. Uh, yeah, we really need to find a, like a merchant that we can sell stuff to. Hmm. <laughs> Let me open the door for Kiara. Alright, there we go. We're good. Back up here. Oh. Lighting went weird there. So now technically purge consumer from a corpse I can get a source point. Wait, so does that mean if I go all the way down here? Like wait, where this oh no, did they just disappear? No, I think they just despawn because I'm away from them. He's still cursed. All right, so let's try this. That's awesome. That's really cool. And then now we can bless him. Bloody ring. It's loose. Get off me and stay off. And there we go. Awesome. And with that, we can also uh, heal the final burning pig. <laughs> so that's really cool. Need to move these around. Yeah, that's probably better off. Swap those. I shall heal you, pig. Be healed. Burning pigs. Watch out for the pigs. The pigs that we blessed in the wilderness will be hard to miss. Where are you going now? <laughs> this one, like, can't get down. Alright, so now we need to head... Um... Shoot, how do you get there? Maybe by going around. Uh, I think you have to go around the dragon. Let me urge this. Yeah, why are you crying? You literally just got fed. We just gave you food. It's over here. The rat. Bear cub. Kiara. Hey, 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 hey. The cub looks sadder than any. Wait. Can you use a resurrect scroll on something like that? No. Yar, why? Hey, let me let her out. Oh my god. 
It's never ending today. Actually, uh, let's go up here and chat with this person. Such an old else pained gaze passes between the crucified. Before we do Anger anything, bubbles within him. Let he me sell on you. The brink of tears of rage. Oh shoot. Uh, I mean, never mind. Dear ones, not like this. Not like this. Not like this. They're as good as my family. So much pain. They are changed. That Dallas woman did something to their minds. They can't even be healed. Using such magic on them would kill them now. Such beautiful souls. They're called shriekers. Upon sight, they blast passers-by with source so powerful none can withstand it. Where you find shriekers, you can trust the divine order is hiding something they desperately stay away from shrieking. Hmm. There's tons of people here. All right, cool. Uh, let me see if I can keep going downwards. Better. Who are you? It is you. Oh. Wait, what? The feeling is mutual. I can't tell you how grateful I am for your kindness. Now I'm just trying to get used to life as a pig. It's not so easy. Well, I can trace it all back to Bracus Rex, of course. Many of us opposed his re A few of us wizards took the chance, though. We figured if we spread the word of his deeds, we might encourage enough people to come together, find a way to... So they are all turned into the pigs. The results were horrifying. A double curse turned into pigs Damn. and set aflame for eternity. I like not being on fire. I'm afraid I've never pursued knowledge so dark. Brackus Rex is so I'm not sure. I have prayed to Armadia, but she offers no answers. Really? Oh, what wonderful views! If there's a shrine to Amadia there, I may re I'll head that way now. Oh. Level 9. Uh, I'm gonna save just in case. Fishbones over here. There's a crate. And check it out. And a few other barrels. Nothing I'll take that. Whoops. The dragon stares you down with flinty, intelligent eyes. He tries to speak, but his jaw is bound tight. Ow. Knocked <laughs> down. Unreadable glyphs mantle this ancient pillar, braided through thick iron wings, source in. What if we destroy the totem? Free the dragon. The dragon rakes the earth. <laughs> Quakes from the impact knock you back. The freed dragon looks sick and pale. As you approach, he stretches his tattered wings weakly and fixes his intense gaze. My gratitude for your efforts, friend. Yet I am no more free now than I was in those chains. Please, but of course, that must be why you stand before me. Slain called to the Lord of Death, and here you are. A coincidence. Uh, I'll tell him you're not the Reaper. Ah, my fate is my soul is bound to joyless obedience. Purged of my source by the wickedest of witches, I stand enthralled to her every whim. 
She has only to command, and my traitorous body complies. The witch Rudeka. I was in love with her once. For the Whoa. smallest slight, really a trifle, she wielded a purging wand against me, enslaving me to her will. Now only my voice remains. Allow! I did not choose this. As I am quite sure, you did not choose any number of indignities in your own life. Oh, sorry. Least of all your presence on this hellish isle. The dragon sniffs and rakes at the... A thought cannot mend a soul. A prayer cannot heal what has been ruined. You talk to soothe yourself, not me. That you would even ask such a question of a stranger already in your debt. There is much goodness within you, but this task would not be easy. When she consumed all my source with her purging wand. So long as she holds hey, me, I have one she of has absolute control over me. If you, you seek out the retreat of the purging you would have my gratitude. What if I told you Was I the have freedom a freedom you promised merely another cruel joke of your kind? They're saying that you're still in the It might be too long before a decker return. Which Redeka purge slain her purging wand may free him? Don't I have? Yeah, I have a purging wand. Oh, uh, you can only use it four times, really? Oh, shoot. Just realized. <laughs> Still tripping. That's so cool how, like, the environment does different things for different people or I mean different um, effects and now you want to come back in Kiara huh? Wait a minute, are you telling me I could have gone there in the first place? Yeah, really? Ah, uh, we can climb up that. Stone Gargoyle trains glistening agate eyes upon you. Its jaws. You are not Bracus Rex. Welcome home, Master. Oh, snap! As I was taking Ben to Bracus from the Red Prince using magic pockets. Aha! And we in. Oh boy. Your inmates have long awaited your welcome back. Gargoyle's maze. Rackus Rex Tower. You see three skeletons sitting around a table, cards in hand. A beating heart. Does Bracus need us once more, Jailer? Are we finally to be freed? You're not one of Bracus's brood. You're not Gratiana's pet. The flesh yearns for our secrets. Did I not say that word would spread by Jailer's? Even after the maggots took your tongue, you still talk too much. Silent. The vile magic of the soul jar binds us here. Our souls are lashed to this plane, never to enjoy the rest of the Hall of Echoes. The only afterlife I had planned, if I'm honest. I was sure that you would drink. 
So, let's go. There's anyway way to free them. the soldiers that find us here. But beware, they are found in a distant treasure vault, guarded by, by the horns of Valkyrie. And thine were better. <sighs> the fault was in thine zombies. Oh, the the worms by traps, in your skull, which they designed. The Joker, that man. We have spent at least until your gorgeous self opened the door. Now we just need the source from your You would. To walk the earth again would be glorious. All right, beautiful. You've had your chance. But I'm escaping this hell one way or another. And Maxos in trusting flesh to do bones work. It seems foolish. Hey, Here, Louis Max, thank you for the, the uh, follow there. How you doing? Wait, so what would fate worse than death is how to fate? We have the soul drives, destroy them in the undead and roof. On the other hand, they might be valuable. What was the one girl asked for the soul? Yes, I will go. And the time I traveled to. Yes. But what about Chilius people? Yes. Side the fate of the soul jars. Please shut up. Find the rest of the armor, the burning pace, cursed you, ring. Did I ever tell you of the time I cursed that court eunuch? Cursed ring. Court eunuch to speak only truth and the admitted pleasing. Deal with Bratonias. Yes, you did. Soul jar. Ah, how about the time Bracus asked me to cast? The dance macabre, yes, I recall. And the time I traveled to. The jar on the plinth before you seems ancient, but is in surprisingly good condition. Yes. And please shut up. The soul jar stands on its plinth. You see, or rather, you feel. Your vision swims. You're older, but perhaps not. The scene twists again. Now you feel a jolt and open your eyes to see the soul jar before you, lying still in the vault. Your hand falls from the jar and grips the pillar. A human spirit slips from the ruins of the jar. Alright, so we have these two as well. What do they want me to do? Gratania's? Yo, what's going on, Communist? Smeagol. Who is the rock? How you doing? Who is the rock? Oh, you should know who the rock is. You interrupt the rock. The rock will be the guy who's getting that ring, tighten his shoes, and whoop your ass. Yo, thank you for that follow as well. Appreciate it. Uh, let's see. Teleporter. Retrieve the teleportation gloves. Ah, we're good. Yo, Gratania. This jar glitters with a jerk. The door opens. The dwarf, as she's dragged, you pull your hand away from it. The jar shatters. Beautiful. Thank you. My death waits. The jar on the plinth. The pictograms, as you roll, he promised. You try to. He promised. Your hand drops away. You see a shape. Nice. Farewell. Wow, we leveled up. I think we leveled up twice from Farewell. that. Really? And oh, now just once. All right. Uh, I'm checking this game out because I saw Baldur's Gate 3 is being developed by Larian. Yeah, I honestly completely forgot that that game is coming out so soon, too. Um, it wasn't until, like, yesterday where I was talking with somebody else in chat and they told me about it. Um, I, I played... I, I'm pretty new to this type of genre, to be honest. Um, I played Wasteland 3 right before I... Uh, started to check out this game and I've it's been on my to-do list for quite a while but after enjoying Wasteland 3 as much as I did my buddy was like oh dude if you like this that game you'll like this one so here I am um and it's definitely been a ride so far I I really like um this game though so far So is it, this is really good? I would say so, yeah. Creating your character, development, um, 
stories, like everything is interesting. Just like living in the world. Um, yeah, apparently it's a very long game. Like average, I think is like 50 hours or so per game completion. Um, but there, there's so much modding out there. There's so much different um, characters that you can create. There's, I feel like this is the type of game that like you can play once and play again and again and again and have different experiences every single time. Um, but it, it's really cool, I would say. Do that. Amazing, yeah. It, it's really cool, I would say. Like, really, really cool. I'm gonna give her a new skill. Uh, yeah, yeah. Ethan, send to Ethan. There's so much customization for the game too. Like it's just, I'm honestly amazed at it. <laughs> With how much stuff you can do, and there is. Um, it's it's really really cool for that aspect. Poison bottle. story really good yeah every i mean every interaction i've had honestly even with like side missions and stuff they've all been very good as well so like right now i'm leveling up because the area that i need to get to is like level seven or so or i mean eight so i want to be prepared um to do it so yeah it's it's definitely um Let me just check one thing. Okay, he has enough for another skill. He has enough for one more. And she has enough for one more. Okay. I just want to check these people. Yeah, even like the side missions and stuff, I've been pretty good. Um, there's, there's so many different ways that you can complete different missions too. Um... see I think I might honestly do more of this yeah same that's what I'm always like about these games too is the the choices the different the amount of variety that there is um, it definitely makes for a better experience. It is an RPG <laughs> without like going into it further. It's straight up an RPG. Um, I might upgrade some of these now. Summoning, increase all physical damage, huntsman. I will do more ranged. I'm waiting on getting another civil ability and another talent. Because we haven't gotten a new talent in a long time now. They go, but I hope to catch you soon. Alright, sounds good. Well, I appreciate you stopping by and uh, chatting. And thank you for the follow as well.
I'll talk to you whenever you get the chance again. Do two handed. There it is. All right, let's see what's back here, zombie. Oh. Approach this till as you lean in close, it lurch. Ah, oh, damn it. Among the long crumbled remains of the temple that must. that look out I see a trap oh! Check what we just picked up. Magical leather uh, gloves. Might be better for him. Yeah. And a shield. I don't think he has a sword to pair with it though. Plus right now he's two handed swords. The rat go. There it is. You don't look lost at all. Sarcastic me, not at all. I'd never be sarcastic me. Oh no, not in the least. <laughs> the rat's eyes. I don't know anything about this place, nor do I know anything about a blood rose or a witch or some dead people. Oh yes, oh yes, that's right. I'm so going to give you all the information you want while you do nothing for me. Look. I don't it makes a face that says understand that's what they hear it's trouble the rat gives you a I don't think the problem is in my I can cut it and I do not invite you to look at you are not a bastard not a ba I'd say we should stop to talk, oh. but I...
Haha, I'm swamped here. Ha ha ha! How about that? The well is now filled to the brim with fresh. Yo, Fondler cool of Loot, thank you for the follow there. How you doing? The surface quickly evaporates any wish you may have had. You see the tangled remains of three corpses. A mixed mass of bones and skin from which. We thank you for the water. We bless you for the water. We thank you for the end of torment. A horror, yes. To die of thirst. The king. The king. Wrath and terror. And so we, we thank you for the water. The fair. The tomb. The levy. The people of Baladu must be buried with coin. Coin for the park keeper. Spare us coin. Grant, sweet savior. Friend of death and fiend of life. How much will you give? We thank you again. We bless you again. The wealth of the dead. Pass keeper, keep us. Pass keeper. Laden with a burden of the coin you gave them. The brothers of Balador sink back to the bottom of the well. Whether they will find their kingdom or languish. Damn. The fair has been. Oh, look at that. Nice guy. You just gave 150 coin to a well. <laughs> that may or may not help us ever. And that's all right. The air around the glowing relic thrums with power as the source barrier quietly crackles in the background. The hum of the relic grows louder and bright light starts to spill from its... God. Easy game to get in into. I've never played anything like it before. I would say so. I mean it is a lot at first, but they they show you the ropes along the way. Um you can really change anything at times too. Um you can change up your play style, your skills. Like I'm still in act one and I know by the end of act one, uh it asks you if you would like to change anything, uh, if there's different abilities um, that you want to try out instead. <clears throat> Honestly, you really, you just jump into the game and you just talk with people, communicate, see like who says what, and then you kind of figure out your own path. There's so many different ways that you can play the game too. Um, I'm, I'm just recently getting into this style of game so this is all pretty much new to me as well and uh i mean i'm i'm used to your basic like rpg games but not really anything like like this so um i would say it's fairly easy to get into it's just gonna be a lot at first and it's still a lot <laughs> even for me only being like I'm probably like six or seven hours into the game, like overall. So it, it's definitely a good amount to it, but it's it's been worth really every, every moment so far. <clears throat> oh, really? Wait, so if I move here, can I teleport down there? Ah. <laughs> Drops her down. Oh, snap. Uh, I'm kind of nervous about this. Oh God. Uh, Irishman, hey, thank you for the 
uh irish hitman thank you for the follow as well i appreciate that like all three of the divinity games by larian can't wait for Baldur's gate 3 yeah i'm looking forward to it as well i think it's gonna be really cool i'm gonna try running through this with just this character we'll see what happens <laughs> Oh, wow, you can do each row. Jeez. Got this game from Steam. Salem thought it was similar to Diablo, and now I'm getting it wrecked left and right. The turn-based combat just throws me off for some reason. Yeah, I can do it. I, I can totally see that. Um, especially if you're used to more traditional, like, active combat uh that's kind of how it was like for me too like i never really realized that there was like a balance of these types of games um because i've played like games like diablo before um and other similar games um but i never really played a game that was like you can move around and like click click and walk type game point and click but then when it comes to combat, it turns into turn base. Um, I would say I, I've definitely gotten used to it. And at this point, I, I really actually enjoy it. But um, yeah, definitely it would take, take some time to get used to at first. Pick up that. You like the Obulo 2, the first part of the game is like Div Divine Divinity. It's definitely a grind though. I was thinking about playing the first game before playing this, uh, but I, I never really got around to it. And I got to the point where like this game is so long in itself and it's its own story. That I was like, you know what, at this rate I'd rather just play the um, this game rather than going all the way back to that. Nice. And here we are. But I, I am really looking forward to Baldur's Gate 3. Um, I'm kind of, I'm interested in where it goes for being a, um, hopefully that's not cursed. I'm interested in where it goes for being an early access game. I think that's kind of like a weird starting point for that. But I mean, if it works out, it, it works out, you know? So, open for the best, of course. Identified boots. Uh, let me throw this ring onto her. Yeah, give this a game a chance. I had to play an explorer mode to get the hang of it, and now I'm really into it. Yeah. Um, I totally... That's that's a, the other thing, too, is, like, for me, being new to this type of game and everything, that's one of the reasons why I'm going on the lower difficulties and stuff. Like, for the most part, most story games, I play lower difficulties as well, just because I'm going mainly for the story. But a game like this definitely because combat i can definitely see somebody getting wrecked left and right unless if you're really into that whole challenging aspect of it and it's like you want to play and learn how the game like a lot of people like playing it wow nice finally got a identifying glass and then i get that too but that's my fear is i, I just don't want to um I don't want to be playing a game where I'm just getting wrecked left and right. Wait a minute. We have so many. The figure in the portrait is rendered with a careful hand. Its eyes seem to follow wherever you go. Are these paintings just like items that you should sell, I guess? Yeah, it looks like it. Looks like they might be expensive. Broken bottle. That. We have somebody else's soul jar. 
Crumbling skull contains the whispers of an ancient tortured soul. The soul can open a door in the maze, but perish in the process. Hmm. Vendor. Okay. Wait, where'd that glass thing go? Oh, there it is. Has taken identifying glass from Cassis using the... <laughs> She's the only one that can really identify stuff for me right now. The seagulls actually sound like very realistic. It's actually pretty funny. An identified crossbow. Oh, baby. Not the skull, the paintings. Okay, yeah, yeah. There it is. Okay, so. 100% chance to ignite services, create a one five, 10% chance to succeed. Yeah, I'm gonna replace this guy with that. And then put that into the wares, up to tyrants, dwarf staff, druid robes. Huh. Finesse and huntsman goes up by a lot. I could equip that on this guy and then put this plate on, I think it might be better for him. That's fire damage. Yeah. And she can take the wizard's coat. Heart of Tyrant, Rift's Leather Shirt. We can get rid of that now. Auto sort this. Hatchet, honestly, I never use it. One hand axe, nope. Uh, Waltz Staff. Nah, I don't think we're gonna use that. All right, so crossbow. Hmm. The current one he has is still pretty good. Same range. Yeah, and you get that piercing with it, so no thanks. Skulk. Strength. Geomancer and summoning. But you need strength 11 to wear it. Only person that has that is the prince here. Yeah, we can get rid of that shield now. How about this? Reapers. <laughs> what a name for boots. Oh, yeah, it's so much better than that. Get rid of that. Does everybody have gloves? We're, we're finally getting gear or uh, filling the gear slots for the majority of them. All right, I think that's pretty much everything for them. So we're good now save cool uh which location good uh can we actually get through here these skulls come to dust after one use ah i see uh, dangerous Gas pits, place an item over the gas pits. To, uh, I totally missed that. Uh oh. Place an item over it and it'll just block it, I guess. Now we just got two more pieces. Go to this, that. Roger, roger. A uh, 
twisted logic. Thank you for the follow there. How you doing? Or. Or. Uh, I wonder if that's any better than this. The two-handed mace. So by looking at two-handed, okay. And he would do more damage with it. All in. I mean, right now he's geared for two-handed items, so might as well, right? Two-handed. He's got that. Set burning for one turn. Yeah, I mean, it looks pretty good to me. Uh, okay. Cool. Okay, so now we need to go back down, I think. For the most part, I think this is all really cleared out. I think that was a level seven area as well. Oh, we are level seven. Okay, where? Hatch. Can't reach. Uh oh. Immune to fire damage, the historian. Sir! Locked. Oh no, we're like trapped. Skeletal cat, Jim Fred. Here we go. Maybe this will open one of the doors. Um, the historian dude back there is still injured pretty badly. Let's see if we can Stand chat with this thing. Stand Another crawling oh, rat. Great. Tracking your stinking paws beneath my nose. Vermin are not tolerated in my house. Be gone! Bowing before the statue, apologize profusely for your... Do not arms. doubt my power. I merely wish you... Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Well, actually, that kind of worked in our favor there. Because, I mean, if I wanted to leave. Yeah. Be careful. What's that? I wanted a trap. Nice. Historian. Ah. We'll go to the uh, witch's cave after this. Oh god. Everything's on fire. Critical hit. Nice. Mm. If I get up here, I'll have one shot left. Can't even tell whose turn it is. There's fire, it's everywhere. Put the fire out. Oh no! Wait, I did the wrong ability. Oh my god. So dumb. Uh yeah, do that. Don't the flames! 
There's Dark Cloud that deals water versus basic attack. Tried blessing you. The flames, I, I tried. I don't know what else to do. Uh, I can try blessing you again. You need blood on him, then bless him. Oh, how do you get blood on him? Ah, the fire, it burns, it won't stop. Just like hit him. It can be electrified or frozen. I suppose you don't have rain blood skull skill oh i have blood sucker consumes blood surface elf would have blood sacrifice uh this makes a blood surface around them restoring vitality Sucker doesn't create blood, it, it vacuums it. Oh, I see. Yeah, uh, unless if we have like a scroll for it, maybe. I'm not sure though. Teleportation. Crap, wait, I think somebody has scoundrel too. Yeah, he does, right? Yeah. Do you have a necromancer and hydro uh a book for them? I I don't have a book. This is my character is a necromancer and then she is the hydro hydro sophist. I guess it is. Uh, binding radiation, restoration. I do have a oh wait, I have a necromancer infect infect a target with disease, but I don't think that's going to help that. <laughs> Not in this instance, at least. Wayfarer. Oh, yeah, that's. He can equip this. I don't think I can help you, man. I'm. I was going to try. Maybe not now. They have Hellfire. I know, I know. I'm sorry. Let me check this phase. Maybe there'll be something. No, there's nothing. Nothing at all. The iron door is locked. That's locked as well. Uh, 
That's locked. I'm sorry. I don't have anything. Rip. I don't think I can help him. I tried. Oh, that looks cozy. There should be a portal there above stairs. There is a portal right here, but I can't get to it. The portal that I'm seeing is this right here. If I can't reach it and this door is locked. Unless if there's another one. Right there. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up. Uh, can I choose myself? Oh, shoot. <laughs> I can reach it. I just need to be able to teleport them. that wait if i do this say we should stop to talk there's a blood pool aha if i throw them right here underneath tell you the librarian on it the historian there you go ah but I don't have, oh wait, no, I do have the source point still. Well, um, wait, can she open that door? I'd say we should stop to. Hey, nope, you still can't, she still can't open the door. So I'd be stuck on this side. I, unless if she finds a key. I don't know if I can, let's try this. Soka, his eyes opened. <laughs> Wait, so can I teleport 